How can I know that I'm saved? I've decided to seek assurance of my salvation. God's pleased that you're seeking assurance. You see, God wants you to be sure that you're saved and to know that you have eternal life. He says in the Bible, These things I have written to you who believe on the name of the Son of God in order that you may know that you have eternal life. There are four common problems or causes for doubt and the reason people doubt their salvation. I want you to consider each of these carefully. Be honest with yourself and with God. Number one, you have doubts because you've never really accepted Christ as your Savior. The Bible says examine yourselves to see whether you are holding to the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not realize that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you fail to meet the test. Ask yourself the following questions about your past decision to accept Jesus as your Savior. Was my decision my own? Or did I make it to please someone else? Was I aware at the time that I was a sinner? Was I sorry for my sins? Did I understand that Jesus died for me to pay the penalty for my sins? Did I repent of my sins and ask God to forgive me? Did I willingly invite Jesus into my life to be my Lord and Savior? If you answer yes to the above questions, then you need to take God at His word and thank Him for His great salvation. You are saved. If you answered no to any question, you need to receive Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you need to do that now. The second cause of doubt is you may have doubts because there are sinful acts, habits, thoughts in your life which have broken your fellowship with God. The Bible says if I regard wickedness, that is sin, in my life, the Lord will not hear me. When you pray, he will not even hear. And then again, your iniquities have made you uh, made a separation between you and your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you so that he does not hear Sin in our lives messes up our relationship with God. This broken fellowship can make you feel almost like you did before you became a Christian. Alone, empty, guilty. How to deal with the sin problem and how to walk daily with God has to do with rededication of your life to Christ. To be dead to self and alive to God. The third cause of doubts is you may have doubts because you're resisting God's will for your life. It could be that God wants total control over your life and you're holding back. He wants you to walk daily with Him and you're not doing so. It may be that God has a special task for you and you're just not doing it. Perhaps God's calling you to some type of ministry and you're resisting Him. It might be something else that God wants you to do and you're just saying, Lord, I'm not going to do it. Are any of these the case in your life? then commit yourself totally to Jesus now. The fourth cause of doubt is this. You may think that you cannot be sure of your salvation and that you have eternal life. Some people think that you can't know for sure if you're going to heaven until you die. But the Bible teaches that you can know now. Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say unto you, He who hears my word and believes him who sent me has, and that's talking about present possession, eternal life, and does not come into judgment, but has passed out of death into life. Take time to pray right now. If there's known sins in your life, confess these to God and ask Him to help you overcome these things. If you've been resisting God's will for your life or your daily walk with Him, Commit yourself to do whatever God wants you to do. If doubts still remain, then here's a simple prayer you need to pray. Dear God, I'm not sure about my decision in the past or my relationship with you right now, but I want to be sure. So right now, I confess my sins. 
I ask you to forgive me and help me live right. Jesus, I do believe that you're God's Son who died on the cross for me. I ask you to come into my life. I want to know for sure right now that I belong to you. Thank you for hearing and answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Did you pray that prayer? Did you mean it? If so, then you can be assured that you're a child of God. For spiritual counseling, you can call 1-800-JESUS-2000. That's 1-800-JESUS-2000. Until next time, remember to search the scriptures. Jesus said, They are they which testify of me.